Hi, I'm Everett. Welcome back to the shop. I don't normally do product reviews. Um, people, you know, soliciting stuff to, you know, give me a tr have me give a try or, um, you know, do a review or whatever on it. Um, this is sort of one, but also sort of a sort of a side project I've been working on too. A number of producers and pr creators uh, on YouTube here have been showing how. Um, on their Bridgeport style mills, how having a steering wheel on there uh, can be can, can actually be quite handy. And a little while ago, well, a few months actually, and you know, we've been working on it since, uh, I got one of the cool boxes. Now, um, inside here was one of the clone wheels uh, for, you know, they, he has the Bridgeport style and then the clone style, and he's been also developing hubs for some of the other style of knee mills. Well, Jim approached me a few months ago, and my apologies to him. I've actually, it's taken me a while to get my end of stuff done, uh, simply because life's been busy between, you know, work and life and f growing family and such. Uh, but um, and what was really cool is after some back and forth sending stuff and uh, measuring and ideas and head scratching, uh, I got this. So this is a quill wheel for a round column mill drill and um, it looks a little different in the center because the button with the bezel is missing it can't be there simply because this is how it mounts but um, it's a you know it's a it's a Delrin hub just like the ones for the uh, for the full-size mills and uh, we had been discussing this for a while uh, about material types and design and you know ideas of how to how to make this work just because of the the hub that's on there, uh, on the actual uh, Rong Fu clones, uh, is is a it's a fairly complex little piece of cast iron with an internal keyway, like a blind keyway, and all sorts of fun stuff. So, but this is what this is what the two of us head scratching came up with, and uh, yeah, I've been playing with it for a little while, and I, I actually find it quite handy. Um, there are places when the spoke hub that came with the machine is handy, and there are times. You know, and this is really handy too. It's like any tool. Um, sometimes it's a better tool than others. Sometimes another tool will be better. But you know, I've I've found I quite like this. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll go over to the mill. I'll pop it on, and then uh, we'll just you know do a little bit of work on a project I have on the go already. And uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how it works. So I'm not going to be getting rid of the uh, spoke tub with the three uh, three handles anytime soon. Um, thank you again, Trevor, for the knobs for the handles. Again, been using it for years without it, and it's, at least it looks finished now. Um, one thing about this is there are still times, especially when the head's really close to the table and you're just using the micrometer down feed anyway, um, that the, you know, the spokes kind of get in the way. Um, so you can still actually screw the spokes out and just have a straight hub in the center. There's a time and a place for every tool, right? But for something like this, uh, for example, right now what I have is I have a piece here that is to my coat hanger, or coat rack rather, and I have to drill a series of uh, holes, you know, all the same depth and whatever. And so, I mean, yeah, I can use the bar here, but when you start having to work your way around, I will admit it does kind of get a little awkward. So for the amount of time it takes to pop off the knob, slide the handle off, don't lose that little spring. I put a little daub of grease on there just to make sure it stays put. And we take our quill wheel, pop it on there. Like I say, for the amount of time it takes to switch over, I mean, this is just, it doesn't get much easier than that. And now I got, I can use like the, you know, one-handed, um, uh, or one finger, even just to spin it up and down. Um, as far as drilling these holes, uh, what I also have done is I got the, um, the pointer in right now, my little uh, center point. Um, what I've done is I've taken the drill bits and right at the end of the flutes there, I've uh, measured by, well, I've taken the, the drill bit and for both the letter Q, which is the tap drill, and the uh, 316s, which I'm using as a, uh, as a pilot drill, 
I've figured out how far down into the material I want to go, and then uh, written down the measurement on the, uh, well, quill DRO here as to how far it needs to go. And you can lock it, and that actually is pretty much where we need to be. On the, di on the display here, uh, it was zero. I need to go down to where it says 3.9. That could spin it faster, but I don't feel like changing the belt speed. I don't want to go through the top because I don't want to make a hole all the way through. This is going to be a blind hole. There you go, 3.9. Let her key a bit, drill a bit get the flute lined up with the end of the chuck jaw as it comes down. Is it within the thousandth as far as depth repeatability? Maybe not within the thousandth, but it's certainly close enough for what I'm doing. So then this has to be 3.175. Let's go 3 inch 150. That'll be plenty deep enough. So what we're going to do now is tap with an M10 by 1.5. Right. So then we'll take our handle here, bring it down. And I just want to get the thread started. I don't have room for my uh, drill chuck tap handle. Take the tension off the belt. But I don't have room here for the drill chuck tap handle just simply because of the uh, because the vice is in the way. So we'll use our starter tap. There we go. Starting to uh, starting to slip, but again, I will admit that's that's handy. Now it's not necessarily as though I'm always trying to do product reviews by any stretch. There. Just there we go. Is it the perfect thing for every situation? Probably not. But, I mean, for, for repetitive doing holes, like I say, I could just whip it around like that, like you do with your steering wheel. Um, one nice thing is also you can choke up on it if you have to. It's a little difficult to do that with the spokes. So, yeah, I can definitely see where this could be, uh, or this is advantageous. So, um, And like I say, even just as far as clearance is concerned, I mean, I'll just hold that up. It's actually even slightly smaller in diameter than the outside of the spokes of the original uh, spoked hub style uh, handle, right? Um, so, like I say, I can see a place where both of them would be handy. So, I'm going to say right off the bat, um, I'm not getting a commission from Jim for, uh, you know, for doing this, uh, doing this, this video. Um, he actually gave me the wheel. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, he gave me the wheel and we've been working together on the, on the hub and he, he wound up giving me a production hub. Uh, but apart from that, I get no commission, I get no kickbacks, I get nothing like that. Um, I just, you know, I'll be honest with you, I, I like it. 
There are times when the spoke tub will be handy, but this is actually quite handy for especially doing successive uh, drilling of holes. Now, the thing is, if you're, uh, if you're at all interested, uh, like I say, I will put uh, Jim's contact information in the description below. But uh, I will say Jim's a really cool guy. Um, I will, <laughs> he's had a lot of patience with me. I, again, just with life and everything, I haven't had as much shop time as I'd hoped in the last little while. If you have a, and one of the other things too, if you have a piece of equipment that doesn't have a standard style hub or whatever, talk to him. He's always up for product development. So anyway, I know it's just sort of a quickie. Um, hope you at least found it somewhat interesting. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I know this sort of stuff isn't for everybody. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you're just passing through, that's cool too. Uh, thanks everybody for the comments and the likes and again, all the support you've given me in my little channel over the last couple of years. See you next time.